Hyper and Sunido. Sunido is going to have to go through the gauntlet. He has to be a Hyper, and then he has to go through Wrath, trying to get into Graham. So, let's see what happens. It was nice commentating. I'll have my boy Justin commentate since he just got off his break. All right, man. All right, have a nice day. Alright, looks like we're gonna get MBEG Scat commentate this uh losers quarters match. What's up doing? guys? I'm doing good. How's it going, Cargo? It's going okay. Alright, so oh, it's game one, hyper versus Sonido. Uh what's the would you happen to know the set count? I know Sonido's, you know, newly Georgia. But I, not sure how often these two have played. I think they played like two or three times, but um Sonido's never beaten Hyper. He's never beaten Hyper? Pretty sure. Okay, so all that Sonic practice coming into play. Oh yeah. Tons of Sonics in Georgia now. Oh, yeah. I, I highly doubt that uh, Tennessee or Alabama or wherever Sanito was previously from has a pretty decent Roy or Roy on Hyper's level. Yeah. There is very uh, scarcely uh, any good Roy. So. Oh, yeah. So moving pretty, on to this match. Yeah, Sonic, pretty even right now. Yeah. So what, what's your opinion on this matchup? Um, I know Hyper just likes to play patient. Like He likes to walk a lot uh, in this matchup. Just trying to bait out whatever Sonic wants to do because you have to play patient against Sonic. Mm -hmm. That's the game plan. Then. Town and City, I don't agree like going to this stage against Sonic. Against Sonic? Yeah. I think arguably this is the best stage. I, I'm i inclined to agree with that. Uh, I can definitely see why. You know, the platforms give you extra landing options. Yeah. Uh, ceiling's super low, so you get the pre you get pretty clean 50-50s on the stage. Yeah. Um, and it's long, so not too different from FD. Um, I do think in certain matchups, though, that it's not the worst, yeah. but um, against Roy, I could definitely see why. Oh, okay, there wow, we see that's it. that's actually a punish, okay. Yeah, that blazer. But um, as far as Hyper goes and Roy on this stage, I do think this is actually Roy's second best stage after Smashville. Yeah. So, you know, in a first game, Strike, I'd imagine this would be the choice. Uh, yeah, both these characters definitely like the stage. Um, definitely. Yeah, platforms, Lin itself to, you know, Ooh. Roy's up Ooh, double spikes. Yep. But platforms tend to help out Roy uh, whenever he's trying to fist for a kill. Just kind oh of hard read that in force smash. I know them feels, man. Yep. I know them feels to you, though. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts, man. That smash so potent. <laughs> I'm just getting Quick drink. drink. Yeah. This man. Uh, but as I was saying, uh, Hyper... I'm pretty sure it knows about the Roy gimmicks. Uh, up B can help you land on the platform safely. Land with very little lag instead of just going to free fall. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ceiling's low, so Roy's very adept at killing off the top as well. Yes, definitely. Definitely two boons for him. All right. All right, and we have the run back to town. Uh, which, again, I think this is not a bad choice for either character. Yeah. Um, granted, I want to talk about what do you think would necessarily, or what would be a mm, suboptimal choice for Roy in terms of a stage pick? Um, like where a bad would, pick? Yeah, a bad pick for Roy. I think his worst against Sonic, probably Battlefield or Lila. Really? Um, Battle Battlefield because, like, you give Sonic more landing options where, like, you want to be catching his landings. Uh, he has more platforms to run around with, and then um, higher ceiling. So, Lilat, just uh, I think that's just a recovery thing. But I mean, Hyper has no problem going to Lilat. Okay, but understandable. What so, would you What would you think? Um, well, I'm inclined to say the same thing in this matchup. Uh, most likely Battlefield, just yeah. because of the higher ceiling again. Just catching landings is way harder than it should be. Get Sonic on that stage. Yeah. All right, but back to the game right now. Relatively even game, Sonido and Hyper both doing pretty good. Yep. Ooh, okay, getting that tower spot. Not going to take the stock. Ooh, homing attack could have been punished. Just a little yeah. too slow, but up B is definitely going to seal it out. Yeah, covering yeah. all those options. I think Sonido is just not used to a character that can actually cover his landing through the spring. You know, most yeah. Sonics, if they see you catching on, they will spring, and they'll just let the spring drop between you and them so that you have to shield and stop for a moment. Oh, okay. But plain conversion there from Sonido, keeping, him back, keeping himself back in this game. Yep. But I feel like... Hyper kind of doesn't have to worry about that just because, you know, Roy's super armor on his blazer just eats it alive. Yes. And the hitbox reach is actually absurdly far, in my opinion. 
is actually interesting because Hyper plays much different than he plays against CC. Because against CC, he's playing super patient. And against Sanito, he's like kind of like in the middle, like half aggro, half patient. Yeah. I'd imagine it's because of, you know, maybe a little bit of ex inexperience on Sanito's part. So, yeah. you know, he's taking and uh, choosing these holes that he may see in Sanito's game plan that may not be present in CC's. In terms of just his matchup, um, like generally speaking, I. Just off a of gut feeling, I'd say that Sanito uh, is, you know, slightly better player. However, I do think he is more inexperienced in this matchup as, you know, CC has been living in this state for forever since yeah. he started playing this game. Um, Sanito, again, new to it. So maybe that's why we see some extra aggression coming out. Ooh, but that pivot grab going to put him in a really good position. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah, great tech. Oh, my goodness. Force grab the ledge. Yeah, that's going to do it. Yeah. Force smash once just in case he goes in. Force smash again. Cover it. Ledge grab. Why not? So solid, solid stuff coming out there from Sonido. It's going to move on to game three. And it is best of three, so this decides it. Who goes on to play against Wrath? I mean, I know the viewers at home want to see Sonic Ditto's really bad, so. Let's see oh, what yeah. happens here. All right, and right now, back to town and city. <laughs> yeah, they just love this stage. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't think Sanito would, like, disagree going th back to the stage. Oh, yeah, so. absolutely not. Especially when you just got to win here. You, you probably yeah. are more inclined to go here. Definitely. All right. You see the first grab. Clean 45% just coming out immediately. Yeah. That's one thing about Roy. You really can't shield against him because his grab confirms into so much. Like, you don't realize how much uh, combos, like, come from just Roy's grab. Oh, yeah. You have to be very, very aware. Like, there's certain spaces where you can, but just yeah. know that, you know, Roy's looking to get in his little bubble zone where he's able to just abuse his neutral air, abuse his up air, abuse his other safe aerials. Yep. Um, and just mix you up with grabs and stuff. Oh, yeah, that oh. force is definitely going to clean it out. He, sh he should have gone in, but, like, maybe he would have lived longer, but I don't think he would have lived anyways. Yeah. So that's one thing I want to emphasize, too. Um, particularly when you're landing in, in tech chase scenarios against Roy, um, one thing that I typically like to do is if I know I'm going to get tech um, or if he puts me in a tech situation where I have to tech a certain way, I'll typically tech towards the center of the stage so that I know, like, okay, in case I do get forward smash, there's a good chance I'm going to live. Exactly. So a lot of times I just roll forward against him, and usually I'll be able to live the forward smash and just get back to neutral again. Take some damage, but it's not the end of the world. You lose the stock. Yeah. So I'm hoping that Sanito, you know, lets that influence his decisions in case he's put in a landing situation again. Maybe just try to influence center of the stage, eat whatever damage you take, and just continue to play the game. Yeah. Okay, nice conversion right there, putting Roy off stage. Another uh, spring, not going to quite do it. Yeah. Right, he's trying to find the kill set of us, but I'm being so evasive right now. Oh my gosh. Goodness. Almost. No fear. As soon as you said, so patient. <laughs> <laughs> Run a little for it. Almost got duff, but you know, he's still alive. He's still kicking. Yep. Fourth throw. Okay. Oh, you may want to watch those techs in place. Hyper is very prone to catching those. Yes. Those four smashing you for free. Back throw. Okay, yeah, back throw is definitely going to take it. All right, and 58% on the board. Definitely nothing Sanito can't make up with a couple of spin dashes, but Hyper, well placed snares are keeping him out, keeping him on the ledge. And, but Sanito has to be careful from this F smash because, I mean, it, it'll kill right now. Oh, yeah. All right. Double edge dance going to put on some percent. And nice these ledge clear. traps. Yeah, Sanito cannot jump on the ledge right now. He's getting put yeah. almost every time. Yeah, Roy's ledge traps are actually really underrated. People really don't know about them. And oh, once yeah. they happen, uh, 40%. Yeah, you'll know about it pretty quickly. Yeah. All right, but 84 to 24, definitely nothing. Sanito can't make up. But right now, Hyper doing a great job. That Nair is not going to be on the mark. Okay, Mr. Grabs, for there. And he's got all the stage position oh, right now. That was that's, really ambitious. Yeah, okay. Oh, so he Hyper is really, really smart. Anything. He does not want to just go low and just eat it for free. Wow. Yeah, super smart decision right there. Just take the damage and get back to neutral. Yep. You'll get hit, but you'll live. No air dodge. You know Hyper's looking for that blazer. Yep. Oh, okay, great fast fall. That was super risky, too, because he could have messed up and just fell right through. Oh, yeah. Hyper just patient on the ledge. Looks like he was trying to take a trump right there. And Blazer's just going to yep. take him out of it. There's like, no invincibility on that spin dash anymore. Oh, yeah. So. Every time, Sanito getting caught for trying to land. Blazer pulling through. Oh, yeah. Again, super, super amazing. 